All right, guys, we're going to get started. Um, welcome to Sec IC. This is 101. Woo! Uh, what is Sec IC? Um, we are a meetup for a city sec. We are affiliated with Sec DSM. Um, no sponsors, no bullshit. Come here and learn stuff from us. Um, preferably while drinking. So, um, <laughs> we are a 501c3 public charity. And we have swag, we have patches available for sale. They're five bucks each. Um, and also we've got piles of stickers, so. Um, yeah, uh, how many people here is it their first time? I think a lot of people. Yeah, feel free to grab a sticker. That's been a while. <laughs> uh, disclaimer, we exist as an educational entity. We do not condone any illegal activity. Also, our code of conduct is don't be an ass. Um, board members get the final say on what being an ass is, and if you're an ass, you will be asked to leave. You'll be asked to leave. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so in the back, we've got food and drink, uh, pizza and soda, pizza's back there, soda's around the corner. Um, we've got some alcoholic drinks around the corner, um, only for 21 and over. Um, clean up after yourselves. Bathrooms are over here. Uh, you can go through this door, but it's probably easier to just go around the corner. Um, sponsors this week, this month. Uh, Merge, as always, they are our, uh, the sponsor of the space. That's where you are right now. Pro Circular is our main sponsor. So thank you to Pro Circular for sponsoring us. Uh, sponsorship available. Opportunities are available. Hit us up at contact at secic.org. Question. Is anyone here for ProCircular tonight? Tonight I met you the other day. <laughs> your, your beer? Uh -huh. Tonight's you. agenda. Yeah. Um, that's about the closest to six we've ever started. Right, uh, right now is the 101. <laughs> it's um, all downhill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we'll do the news. Our first talk is Adam doing Getting Started with Arduino. And our second talk is myself and Zach called How Did I Even Get Here? Next month, uh, we don't have anybody signed up. I think we've got some tentative talks, but um, two tentative talks right now. But I mean, even even if uh, we can't get you in next month, um, come in, give a talk. We've got a sign up link on our website, so feel free to come in and um, yeah, we're looking for looking for people to share with us. So I uh, wanted to put the slide up here because uh, at the Sec DSM meeting. Um, Tom Pohl uh, gave the 101 last month and, and was talking about imposter syndrome. And I felt like that was kind of a good me message. Um, and I'm going to destroy that message by saying if Tom Pohl gets imposter syndrome, then none of you are good enough to get imposter syndrome. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, you know, don't feel like, like, you know, if you're thinking about coming up here and giving a talk, don't feel like what you, what you have to give, what you have to contribute isn't, isn't good enough. Like, you know, everybody out there has different skill sets and everybody out there you know, you'd be surprised at what you know that, that the rest of us don't know. So uh, don't be afraid to get up here and give a talk. This is a great environment. All right, something bothering you? Um, Brandon's picture. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon's picture. Uh, yep, so this is how you get all of us. Our website is secic.org. Uh, email contact at secic.org. Twitter is at sec underscore IC. And our YouTube bit.ly link until we get like 16 more followers, subscribers, is bit.ly forward slash secic underscore YouTube. Uh, if you follow us on Twitter, we, we post the videos. We post links to the videos after we upload them, usually a couple days. Um, and we just posted the live stream, which uh, none of you guys probably care about. Uh, join us on Slack. Uh, as of yesterday, we had 70 people. Woo. Visit secic.org. Um, you can either click Slack right at the top of the page or just scroll down enough, you'll see it. Uh, that'll take you to a sign up page. Sign up, you'll get an email from a bot with an invitation link. Um, I don't know what happens after that, but then somehow you profit. So, um, Slack, for those that are uninitiated, uh, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit channels and start joining stuff. Um, we've got some shared channels with, Sec, uh, with SecDSM. Uh, there's a jobs channel there, there's a general channel, and then we've got, um, we, we start up channels for different cons, we've got channels for uh, arranging transportation, ride sharing, all sorts of good stuff. Um, so get in there and explore it and talk to us. Upcoming cons, 
We've got Circle CityCon at the beginning of June. That's, um, I don't know, I know we're not supposed to have favorites, but that's my favorite. Um, after that's Burcon in Minneapolis. Greg's here. Stall, stall. And then Gurkhan. Our favorite non-local? Yeah, there you go. Our favorite non-Iowa con. There we go. Uh, totally saved that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then Gurkhan and Grand Rapids. Uh, those are the ones that I know for a fact that you know myself, Matt, and Zach are going to. So join us. There we go. There we go. I didn't get tickets this year. Yeah. 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 Greg knows the guy or something. Right. All right. My name is Transparency News and Jeff's. <laughs> My butterfly keyboard. All right, so up next, we'll go through the uh, financial transparency report like we do every month. So, as you can see, the previous month we had $1,126.59. Uh, pizza, ice, drinks, uh, usually it's about $150, uh, but we had to get more beer, so that went up a little bit. Um, <laughs> The month before, uh, that month, we actually had a, a somewhat large donation that was given to us. Um, I didn't include it on that month because it was not in the, the uh, bank account at that time. Um, so I'm including it this month. And then uh, we did have a single purchase today, uh, this month. And it is this awesome old hand truck. Yeah, the back saver. <laughs> And a reminder, yeah, so uh, we got it on Amazon. Are we set up for Smile yet or no? <laughs> Soon we'll be set up for uh, Smile on Amazon. Is, are you guys aware of that? Basically, for nonprofits, if you go to smile.amazon.com, uh, you can actually, uh, they'll give 2% or sorry, yeah, anything you buy. It's a certain like half a percent. It's like whatever percent, they'll actually donate it to a charity. So if you guys feel inclined, you can donate to us. There's no markup on it. Like they're not making right. money because they write it off at the end of the year. So keep that in mind. Um, so mm -hmm. we actually uh, were in the red last month, uh, $110. So the current balance is $1,040. Um, we did have a sponsorship this month. However, as you can see, it kind of did the same thing it did last month. It didn't include it because it hadn't hit the bank account. So look for that next month. So after that, uh, we'll go ahead and talk about the news. So first in the news, uh, uh, Amazon's uh, Route 53, their DNS service, uh, was actually hijacked through uh, BGP. This is one of my favorite attacks. And basically what they did is they started um, announcing, saying, come through us um, uh, to uh, go to uh, my ether wallet and uh, they set up a website and whatnot um, however when they did it they didn't quite set it up correctly uh, they didn't uh, have a, a proper ssl certificate so there was still a warning and went to the site but if they had done it correctly uh, that would have not been there but it looks like about one hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of uh, crypto was actually sent um, or, or taken, I guess, um, from users of that website. Uh, you can kind of see the different routes that were uh, uh, announced and whatnot. Went over that there. Um, second thing, uh, so uh, this month, uh, a, a popular uh, booter or DDoS service called uh, Web Stressor was actually taken uh, down. Uh, I believe it was called Operation Power Off. Yeah, Power Off uh, was the name. Uh, they had over 136,000 users on that website, and to use it, um, just, I think it was for, more on this quote, but either like five or 15 minutes was as low as $18.25. It wasn't actually, uh, they did uh, successfully launch, launch the largest, uh, or one of the largest DDoS attacks uh, on the internet. Um, finally, as well, I'm sure a lot of people heard that um, Microsoft within Excel now allows JavaScript. <laughs> well, somebody had a great idea, a security researcher went, and he actually is in a uh, city sec, kind of like what we have right here, I think it was in Dallas, and he's like, hey, I'll buy a beer for whoever at this city sec can go ahead and get uh, CoinHive, uh, the uh, 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 CoinHive miner built in that. And he started thinking about it, and he's like, you know what, maybe I can do this. And that's awesome. And so he actually did build it. And uh, if you look at uh, on Twitter, 
uh, the time stamps, you can see it only took him about two and a half hours to do it. So <laughs> being on the lookout for that once that <coughs> functionality rolls out to uh, uh, all, you know, all office all, all over. Um, fourth thing, uh, so uh, with a lot of state-sponsored attacks, a lot of people think that um, a lot of governments are um, rolling out their own um, uh, systems or even uh, applications. Well, there's one actually in Pakistan where um, they actually use this one, one called the One Spy, and it's actually uh, uh, marketed as even your grandma can be a spy. It's so easy that even your grandma can uh, load this malware on, on the, your target's phone and they'll be able to track them. You can listen to them. You can you know see where they're going and whatnot. Uh, there was, there's a little bit of a backstory here that you can go in and, and read about it. Uh, one of the funny th things was um, they ended up catching the per. Well, they they claim it's the person, but they claim it isn't them. They said that they were hacked. Um, but what they said was that they found that he was a, a Facebook friend um, with the owner of this oxygen company, and then uh, also that. Uh, that he had registered actually the domains and uh, or his name was used to register the domains <laughs> not for that infrastructure. So a little bit of an OPSEC fail if it was him or not. Um, and then uh, our fifth of the, of the month is there was a new uh, zero day vulnerability known as Base Striker. Did you guys see this one? Uh, basically it affected uh, primarily Office 365 you can look at this little matrix here and see you know, how it was affected. I wasn't able to check today to see if it, uh, they are still affected or not. Um, but basically what they did, if you look at this HTML code, um, is they, uh, they add a base href right here. And then what they do is they cut the actual link itself. And then you see how it's, it's, it's two different segments. Uh, it actually got, gets through um, Microsoft's ATP and their uh, different security services, so it wasn't scanning those links. So Fishers were able to send out primary. They said this this was actually being uh, in the wild, uh, exploited in the wild. Uh, that Fisher, Fishers were using that. And then finally, of course, we had to throw it in. I won't talk too uh, long about it. But did you all hear about eFail and whatnot? So today, if you're not, what? Oh, you got an extra one this month. It was big, <laughs> so we had to go over it. So, anyways. Um, so there's a vulnerability that was actually found almost 20 years ago, but it was, uh, oh, I guess you could say, re-released. And what happened um, was uh, the EFF came out and said, guys, you need to uninstall PHP right now. And everyone kind of was like, whoa, whoa, this is big, blah, blah, blah. Um, some, one of the researchers broke their embargo, and then it was just a huge mess. You can kind of see, yeah, the memes uh, came out like crazy for it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, <laughs> read into it some more if you haven't already. Uh, on the, already. And then finally, uh, we have jobs. Is anybody hiring or looking for a job temporarily or right now? <laughs> temporarily. Not temporarily. Temporarily. Is anybody looking for a job or is it, does anybody know anybody hiring? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Cool. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, right now, I'm an information security intern at TransNet. What are your interests? I'd like to get into like fintech and right, right team side. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Nice. Anybody else? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no job for you? Yeah. No job for you? Yeah. No. 